hello welcome back to my channel welcome to it's not really the calorie crush it sort of is it's the best attempt at a calorie crush you're going to get this week but it's not the calorie crush as we know it for starters there is no recorded weigh-in there is no board with achievements on it there's no achievement <laughs> what there is is a big fat old me sitting here telling you that i have decided i can't I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it right now. I'm going to give myself just a couple of weeks grace and hopefully come at it with a fresh mindset in the new year. I'm saying hopefully because I've tried to have a fresh mindset several times and it hasn't worked but hopefully, 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 hopefully a fresh mindset in the new year will be the thing. It's just been another, it's, I'm, I'm very busy. I know everybody, don't get me wrong, I'm not thinking I'm very busy and everybody else is sitting around twiddling their thumbs. I realise everybody is very busy. I can't be arsed to think about food. I can't be arsed to put the effort into... Is that my hair or a pat on the blanket? I think it's a pat on the blanket. I can't be arsed to put the effort into making decent food. I don't want to eat the good food. I want to eat the bad food. And the bad food is very easy and very convenient. I don't want to play. Taking me ball home and stropping because I just don't want to play at the moment. I don't want to do it. I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to... I want to be thin. I have definitely gained weight. The reason there's no recorded weigh in is because I couldn't face t pointing my camera at the scales, but I did get on the scales. I am either 299 pounds or 297 pounds, depending on which foot I stood on, believe it or not. I've decided which spot I'm gonna have the thing on the floor. I still need to get a piece of hardboard. But yeah, if I stood on my right, if, I, if I'm not, obviously I was standing on both feet, but if I concentrated my most of my weight on my right foot I was 299 pounds on my left foot I was 297 pounds so, so it's definitely the floor that's at fault several of you said try the bathroom floor the bathroom floor is worse the bathroom floor is less even than the kitchen floor um I just I don't know I'm gonna have to find a piece of hardboard for the scales to sit on I think that's the only way I can manage it I've put the tree up ho festive ho so yeah so it's not really the calorie crush is it because i didn't I haven't crushed any calories you can't call it the calorie crush if you're not even trying can you so this isn't the calorie crush but what it is is carla sits here confesses to you that she's not trying at all at the moment and that she's probably going to be 42 stone by january the first one we'll try again and talks about friend mail let me just get more comfortable i have had a few parcels of friend mail over the last 10 days or so. Obviously parcel deliveries are a bit hit and miss at the moment. Let me reiterate that I don't ever expect anyone to send me anything at all. I'm always delighted if you do. Um, let me further quantify that I have not sent any Christmas cards this year. I fully appreciate every Christmas card I receive. I love that you send me Christmas cards. It's very nice of you. I haven't sent any out this year. I'm essentially a bad person. That's my, that's my entire excuse. Five days till Christmas. I haven't even put Christmas cards through the neighbours' letterboxes yet. That's how behind I am with that this year. But I have received a few. So I have collected them up. Oh, there's a couple there as well. Bear with, I forgot those other two that came today. Hang on, I'll be back. Got to get past the camera. So I'll start with these two since they arrived today. I've got a lovely um, blue one that says Merry and Bright. And that is from... Andrea and Nick, Andrea and Nick, it rings a bell, it rings a bell, Andrea and Nick, it's from the Hillses, Andrea and Nick, and of course Ellen, Ellen's on there as well, um, it says to Carla, Natalie, Anthony, Merry Christmas, lots of love from Andrea, Nick and Ellen, that arrived today, thank you very much guys, and also today, this gorgeous Santa and a snowman number has arrived, and it says to Carla and family from Jordan, James and Annie, so that's Jordan Clapham Coins, and his partner James, and Annie is the Dalmatian, so I can't decide if there is a blue flashing light outside if it's somebody's fairy lights. I think it's somebody's fairy lights. <laughs> Thought for a minute there was something going on in the street. I was going to get out there and have a nosy. So thank you very much to Jordan, James and Annie and to Nick and Andrea for those. And then here are a few that arrived earlier. Here's some I made earlier. I didn't make them earlier at all. But somebody did make this one. Look at this gorgeous one. Where are we? This arrived, you will not be surprised when you hear who it's from, if you uh, have been around my channel for a while, you remember that Ashley at Paper and Twine is the most stunning card maker and crafter, and she has made this beautiful card herself, it says Merry Christmas on there, with a gorgeous print of a deer in the distance. Now it says inside, Dear Carla, wishing you and yours, including the doggies, a fabulous Christmas and a happy and healthy 2023. 
Thank you for your love your videos. I wish I had half your skill. You are so loved. Best wishes, Ashley. Half my skill. Ashley, you are the most talented paper crafter I have ever, ever seen in my life. Your stuff is absolutely stunning. And um, I'm sure when you say wish I had half your skill, you're not referring to my crafting vlogmases. At the top it says, the enclosed is not a Christmas present, but something to enjoy today. If you want to see how it was made, it's on day three of my Vlogmas. So I will try and link that video down below for you. That's Ashley at Paper and Twine. I'll try and link that video because I think you will want to know how she made this. Look at that. It's got a beautiful handmade tag on there that says Merry Christmas from Paper and Twine. It's a handmade Christmas cracker. I don't want to open it. It's got bells on it. Little chiming bells. I don't want to open it because I feel like if I open it, I've ruined it. But I know what's in there because I can see through the end. Can you see through there? That's Reese's, that is. Can I get it out without... I don't think I can get it out without opening the cracker. And I don't want to ruin the cracker because it's so nice. I can't get it out. I'm going to have to open it at some point. Maybe I'll just carefully untie it and then see if I can tie it back up afterwards. But yeah, so there's a video of how Ashley makes these gorgeous crackers on her channel. And I will find that video and I will link it below for you guys. I need to make sure I put that out of Molly's reach because she's partial to a bit of chocolate if she can get her paws on it and obviously she can't have chocolate. Very, very bad for dogs. Okay. Even Ashley's envelope has got this, a stamp. She's even put a, a stamping detail on the envelope. Okay, there's another one here. And uh, this is from Jane and so I think it I think it's Jane Walters, or if it's not Jane Walters, then I apologise to the Jane that it is. Because it says Jane in Ramsgate, Kent, and I think that's Jane Walters. So uh, it says to Carla, family and flurry friends with very 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 vest. With very vest. <sighs> with very best wishes from Jane. And I think that's Jane Walters. Thank you so much, Jane. Even if it's not Jane Walters, thank you all the same. And then and then this one says to Carla and family, Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy 2023. Best wishes from Julia Jones. Thank you, Julia. I've got a feeling Julia Jones doesn't live very far away, from, but I might have the wrong Julia. I do get, I get all my peoples mixed up. Especially sometimes people are called Julie Jones and then Julia Jones, etc, etc. I've got a lovely card, as always. Peter Ray sends a card every year. Thank you, Peter. I haven't sent any back. Normally, because we have Hitchin, we normally have our Hitchin meetup before Christmas and then I take Christmas cards and give them out there, but we didn't have that. Um, not just didn't happen this year it's going, to, it's going to be having that in January so I will see I'm sure I'll see Peter Ray in January and be able to thank him in person for his lovely card but I'm awfully sorry Peter I haven't sent any <laughs> keep on saying I haven't sent any cards this arrived this is not just a Christmas card although there is a Christmas card there's my lovely card this is such a nice card these are handmade it says handmade by interlude Merry Christmas and a merry every day, Carla and family. Cheers to the new year. Love and best wishes from Lainey. So that's, that's the lovely Lainey Ray, who I know you all, all follow. And look, at look, she sent me the Birds on Film 2023 by Lainey Ray calendar. And look at it. She's so talented. This is a lady who'd never picked up a camera until a couple of years ago. And some of these shots are just amazing. Look at him walking. She's caught him actually walking along a branch. His little foot's up. That's a meadow pipit, apparently. And what I want to know, Lainey, is do you know what they are? I mean, obviously, some of them, magpie. You know what a magpie is when you see it. But do you know what all the birds are when you take the photos? Or do you have to come home with photos, the photos? Or do you have to come home and do the research and go, what bird have I seen today? There's a wren. Look at that collared dove. Look at the detail she's she's caught on the, on the wings. It's a little furry head. Image taken round the doors. That's such a Sunderland saying, isn't it, round the doors? There's a goldfinch there. A dunnock? I don't even know what a dunnock is. Apparently a dunnock looks like that. It's a beautiful calendar and Lainey's photographs are absolutely stunning as always. I don't know which one's my favourite. Last year my favourite was the swans, but this year I don't know. I do like that collared dove with his fuzzy head. I think I like him best. Her, him, her. I don't know how you tell one dove from another. How do you tell boy doves from girl doves? Does anybody know? So thank you, Lainey, for the stunning Birds on Film 2023 calendar. I love it. This is from Stall 69. He sent an enormous box. It was so heavy I could barely get into the house. And he sent this just after my car broke down. 
and he's, the letter in enclosed says, assuming you can't go car booting, I'm bringing the car boot to you. So goodbye Steve's filler bag, hello Steven's filler box. It's a totally random mix, I garnered from my to one, one day be listed on eBay pile. Sell what you can, dispose of what you can't, hoping you're back on the road ASAP Steven. I am back on the road, thank you so much Steven, but your box of tricks was such a lovely surprise. There's all sorts in there, it's upstairs and I can't show you guys because it's absolutely huge. But there were Filofaxes in there and Dr Martin's insoles and teddy bears and... and photo paper and ink card, oh, just, just the most random selection of stuff and it was so much fun going through it and it will be very very useful so thank you as always Stephen Store 69 you're a star, you're a shiny star and then this came from moonpig.com, not sponsored, I just happened to know the theme tune, like the theme tune, sing the theme tune and I wasn't sure who it was from because although there is a name in there, there wasn't a surname and I know that there are a couple of ladies called Gaynor who watch my channel. So it's a gorgeous moon pig card with two lovely dogs on there. <laughs> we um, we know people who've got dogs like that and they're called Paddy and Elsie and they look very just like Paddy and Elsie funnily enough. It says to Carla and all the family including the furry ones have a lovely Christmas and New Year and all the best for 2023. Much love Gaynor. And I thought well, that's lovely, but I don't know. I couldn't message and thank because I wasn't sure which gainer it was. Well, then Gay Keen sent me a message yesterday on Instagram saying, you know, just what to say happy. And I was like, oh, did you send me a present? She said, yes, I did. So this, that lovely card and this fabulous box of Lindor, salted caramel Lindor, which I'm just going to test one, I think. Because, you know, they've been through the post and maybe they could have... Um, they could have been damaged or something. We're just a bit of quality control. Quality control on the Lindor salted caramel. Talk amongst yourselves. Partial to a bit of chocolate. You're not having chocolate. I love you. I think they're okay. <laughs> Quality control complete. I think they're okay. In fact, they're gorgeous. Thank you so much, Gay. Much appreciated. You really can't have them. But. But. Here's a bit of good news for puppy dogs. This one arrived yesterday through Amazon. Hi, yeah, two seconds and it's for you. It's a gift from Lisa Heidinger. Merry Christmas to the best dogs on the internet. That's you, I think. Mwah. The humans are okay to love Lisa. And Lisa has sent you guys. Is that what she sent you? <gasps> They're for you. It is. It's very exciting. You have to get down then. You need to get down. I can't get into it. Everything's so very well sealed these days. Is that my age? Is it your age when you start going? Everything seems to be sealed more than it was in my day. I can't remember. I genuinely can't get in. Hold the line caller. How am I still not in? I'm in. This box has in it three packets of rodeos and two of jumbones and that is such an ideal selection because the two bigger dogs both really enjoy a jumbone but he can't cope with the jumbone anymore because his teeth aren't up to it and so he would he will absolutely yam one of them down so lisa thank you so much i'm going to give you one of these now but you have to come past nicely if i can get into them i can't get into anything today molly molly's like i have teeth i'll sort that for you up come up come up come up there we go Good girl. <laughs> Kaiki, do you want one? Kaiki. Kai, I think, is um, selectively deaf today because he's ignored me out the field quite comprehensively. Kai. Oh, did want one of them, apparently. Funny that. Thank you very much, Lisa. I'll go and find Buddy with one of them. He's at the top of the stairs and he won't hear me now, no matter how hard I yell. Thank you so much um, to everyone who sent a Christmas card. To everyone who's who sent a small gift. It's been lovely to hear from some of you. I'm going to put my Christmas cards up now. The tree's up, as you can see, that went up today. I'm looking forward to a better Christmas than last year. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and that you all have a healthy and happy new year as well. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye for now.